Hi there and welcome to another portion of infotainment. This video counts towards your 5 a day. What did your crush do that absolutely killed your interest? Turned out to be the person eating everyone else's food from the break room fridge. That poops punishable by death. Never had anyone take my food from the fridge, but if they did, then it is war they have chosen. Told me that she didn't like me back anymore, but maybe if I waited long enough she would like me like that again. Ugh, I hate this. You're not an airport, you don't get to put people in holding patterns very well said. She invited me over to her place, not as a date thing, but just to hang out as friends. Her house was absolutely filthy and the glass of coke she gave me had a hair in it. She was really cute, had a great personality, and was a genuinely nice person, but as soon as I saw cat poop on the floor near the front door and just dirty everything my crush disappeared and I left in a hurry. Yeah ha ha, there's messy and then there's this. I am fine with mess and clutter. That stuff just needs tidying up. I cannot handle filth. This is absolutely filthy. His sister actually approached me and let me know that he was once arrested for locking their other pregnant sister in their basement, went on a coke binge while she desperately tried to get out, and went outside to beat their unsuspecting neighbor's van with a golf club. That was a biggle nope. Sister's a legend BTW. It was really cool of her to tell me about all of that, and she actually continued to warn women about him even if some of the girls wouldn't listen and had to experience firsthand. She's really out here for her fellow females. She slept with my dad. I would say mother effer but the term doesn't work here. Father ducker. Father diddler. Kept arranging times to talk and whatnot, then always forgot or was not available. I've had the same thing happen to me. She would always text me and ask if I could chat at a certain time, of course I would agree, then when I called she would have her phone off or only answer 5% of the time. I really liked her too, so I was just like WTF. If you say you want to talk at so and so time, you know, answering the phone might help. That this girl text me, not me text her, 5 days in a row asking to hang out and stuff. I would say yes, then ask what she wanted to do. I would never get a response. I don't understand how you can ask somebody to hang out and then just ghost them. And I only kept getting my hopes up because she had some B's excuse to go with it. Wanted to look through my phone on our first date to make sure I wasn't talking to anyone else. That was our last date. The other way around. Toxic stuff nonetheless. It worries me how sometimes you only need to scratch a little deeper under the surface of a normal person and you get to stuff like this. At least you didn't invest time or emotions into it. Sometimes people don't reveal the other side of them until you're in that type of situation with them. So yeah you can have someone perfectly normal but when it comes to certain stuff they just go haywire. We worked together and as I got to know him more I learned he talked badly about everyone. Nurses that are amazing he belittle, talk about how certain people don't know what they're doing because they asked for an ultrasound for as they were struggling getting a vein on a heroin addict. The paramedics were worthless, doctors don't know what they're doing, who he thought was hooking up and it completely turned me off. He's in his early 40s and into gossip more than my teenage daughter. Gossipers are empty, hungry ghosts, filling the void inside. Gossip is the devil's telephone. Best to just hang up. Moira Rose said she was staring up a group for LGBT youth. I asked her why, and then realized I had been barking up the wrong tree. I'm dumb, she's a lesbian. I thought I had found the one. We were good as married in my mind. He picked me up for our first date and his car was disgusting. Not talking a few trash items, the entire backseat and floorboard was completely covered in piled up trash, even up front. I had to step on empty McDonald's bags, old soda bottles, rappers act to even get in. And all he said was, just move it around with your feet. No sorry or anything. Made me feel like trash too. Like dang, couldn't even clean up a little? But you're the goblin queen? Hey man even goblins have standards. Talk non-stop about himself and his accomplishments and never asked me one question about myself. Experienced this, but he would ask me questions about myself and after one line from me, would take over the conversation and somehow direct the spotlight from my answer back onto himself, almost competitively. Went on a date with a guy similar to this lol. He loved himself and whenever he asked me a question he would take my reply and tell me why I was wrong for thinking it, and then tell me his right version. She asked me if I was good with kids because she was pregnant with her ex and that she's not good with kids, it was the first date. Mo way dude. What was your response? 
I told her that I'm not comfortable raising a child that isn't mine and that it's not gonna work out. After my response she lost her crap screaming that I was a heartless piece of poop and that all men are the same. We played Monopoly. That game brings out the absolute worst in people. Once while playing Monopoly, we had lost some of the pieces so we had to use Cluedo pieces instead. Long story short, I won and my opponent got angry and stabbed me in the hand with the tiny dagger. That took a sharp turn. Well it turns out he wasn't interested in girls so, I knew I had to kill my feelings or feel stupid for keeping them. At least you got to know about it, it's way better than being in the dark. Like in the closet. Ignored me when somebody new and shiny came along. It's better than keeping you as a doormat mate. Good phrasing. She detested cats and insisted that I give up my furry buddy before she'd move in with me. It wasn't that she was allergic to cats. She issued the ultimatum because, according to her, my cat received too much of my time and affection, and she wasn't going to compete. Lamau imagine laying awake at night knowing you lost to a cat. Is there anyone ever that won against an already existing pet? I'm sure someone has, and that pet owner was a piece of crap and made the wrong choice. Bullied the quiet kid in our class. What a jerk. And it's such shame that she stooped to those levels cause she seemed like a sweet girl. The moment I saw her do that I lost it with her cause the quiet is genuinely a nice guy still friends to this day due to our mutual love of anime and gaming. We were teenagers, he lived in a different province, and we used to chat on Skype. He wanted me to think he was a badass or something and would always talk about his drug use. He ended up faking a heroin overdose when we were on chat together. I was hysterically crying and freaking out thinking I was watching someone dying and was trying to figure out how to call 911 in another province when he snapped out of it and told me he was actually okay. I didn't talk to him much after that. Goddamn. What a loser. What would have been your answer or question? Leave it in the comments below. Slap that like and subscribe button for more, and check out the link in the video description for even more answers. Peace out, and catch you in the next video.